Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. All right, take a look at the forecast temperatures. Uh, tell you what, it's been warming up slowly but steadily. A lot of melting going on after snow this morning. About a half inch of snow in South Boise had a report of about an inch down towards uh, the uh, right along the Snake River here, generally near Grandview, and then points to the east, maybe an inch, generally a coating, and then further to the west next to nothing. So we had that light snow, but as expected with the temperatures warming to near 40, we've had a lot of melting going on. Some snow showers flying in the mountains. In fact, snow continuing to fly in the Haley Sun Valley area right now. Five inches at Baldy and still coming down. So there are the snow showers. Elmore County, you see some to the south here. Overnight tonight, we do have to watch out for the chance for slick spots on the inner state southeast of Boise from Mountain Home to Twin Falls until this storm system finally lifts its way on out to the north and to the east. The only advisories now up in east portions of Idaho, uh, the upper Snake Highlands, uh, west of Idaho Falls, so the higher elevations up into western Montana, nothing to the west. Out of the south, we have some advisories not far off of the interstate along Utah. Uh, the interstate a lot in Utah, I 70 here. Generally speaking, this is mountain locations, but some travel to Nevada is not so bad. But Utah, we still have that issue with the snow tracking up with the major part of the storm system here. Drier weather to the west that'll be coming in, and the travel forecast in the next couple of days looks really nice. But from this point on through the evening through early tomorrow morning, there's still a chance for some snow showers in the mountains and the higher elevations to the south. So over any mountain passes, just keep in mind some slick roadways, especially after the sun goes down tonight. We've got colder air coming in. And so when the sun goes down tonight, here we are going below freezing for the first time in a long time, many, many days in the Treasure Valley. So fog is likely to form. Icy spots could form in untreated roadways that are still moist. Overnight tonight, they'll get a little icy and frosty in the morning, mostly cloudy. Then uh, Thursday and Friday, staying dry, probably through the weekend, much colder, low temperatures in the 20s. Our next threat for snow could come in New Year's Eve. That's on the 30th, uh, 31st here, and you see 39 uh, degrees for high temperatures. So it could be some snow in the morning, maybe some rain in the afternoon. And for the ski areas, this could be a good sized storm system. Let's hope it comes on in because it's dry until then. Weekend forecast looks dry. That's my latest forecast. I'll have another update coming up shortly.